All right, guys, we back with another video. So today was the day that I got in the App Store and I seen DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So I had to download it and I wanted to make this quick PSA to let you guys know that DaVinci Resolve is now on the iPad. But I have been playing with it and using it for the past like two hours or so, just kind of editing stuff, just trying to see if I can uh, get used to it because this is my first time right here on my iPad using DaVinci Resolve. Never used it, uh, never experienced it. So the first time I've ever experienced it was when I just recently about two hours ago opened it up on my ipad so real quick um we know on the ipad imovie was like the standard and then you know luma fusion is probably like the best thing that you could get on the ipad but now we have davinci resolve i know a lot of us ipad users really wanted final cut pro to come to the ipad but we got davinci resolve which is one of the top three because honestly i feel like you got final cut pro adobe premiere and then davinci resolve i feel like those are like the top three uh video editing apps but on the ipad luma fusion was the king and now we have something like davinci resolve right here um that can possibly push luma fusion to another level so if you're a luma fusion lover like me then you should be happy that davinci resolve is now on the ipad because it's going to push luma fusion to another level so um with that I've been using this app for the past, like I say, two hours, and I just kind of want to give you guys a couple of quick things about this uh, DaVinci Resolve that you need to be on the lookout for just in case you don't have an M1 iPad. Okay, so I'm going to read this right off the screen. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys, but right here, it says that on my on, on my actual iPad, I run an iPad Air 4, it says uh, this, this version of DaVinci Resolve comes packed with advanced editing and color finishing tools. However, some features will be missing from this iPad model due to memory limitations. Video processing is restricted to HD and some of the effects and processing tools are disabled or have limited functionality. All right. It also says to have full access to all DaVinci Resolve for iPad features. We recommend to use an Apple iPad Pro M1 or newer models. So, like I said, I've been using this for the past two hours and I want to give this to you guys. I currently still run an iPad Air 4 because it is, to me, you know, I mean, you can get an iPad Air 5 and all that stuff, but I, I still think that the iPad Air 4 is, is a good uh, iPad that you can still get, even still current right now and, and rock out with. Rock out with. But um, I wanted to kind of give you guys just some quick things about it on the iPad Air 4. If you don't run an uh, M1, um, you're going to be limited on the iPad Air 4 and, I guess, older, right? Um, because I was using this for the past two hours. It is true that you can't do anything above uh, HD. I tried 4K. It won't let me uh, export anything in 4K. It exports it exports everything in 1080p only. Uh, and that's because of the uh, video processing uh, being restricted to HD on anything that's below an M1 iPad. Um, there's a lot of other little small features in here as well from the tools and stuff like that that I wasn't able to use. Um, but for the most part, um, everything else was working pretty fine. But that's just like, to me, the biggest thing is that you can't export. If you're not running an M1 iPad, you can't do 4K, or at least for me, I couldn't export anything in the 4K. It was only limited to, like it said here, uh, HD, which was only 1080p. So that's just something to throw out there. Um, it did work really well on my iPad with my external hard drives. Um, to me, all of the functions and features were working pretty good. But at the same time, just be aware uh, that if you don't have an M1 iPad, that you're not going to be able to take full advantage of this DaVinci Resolve. So um, honestly, I would say if you don't have an M1 iPad, you can still use this. But right now, anybody that doesn't have an M1 iPad, I still think that Luma Fusion would be your best choice right now. Because for me personally, because I run an iPad Air 4 and because this is not going to let me export anything in 4K and it's only going to keep me restricted to 1080, uh, I'm going to go back to Luma Fusion. Um, I'm not going to well, I probably go ahead and remove this app off of my device, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick with LumaFusion because on LumaFusion, uh, nothing is limited. You can, you know, use that app full out. Um, but because I don't have an M1 chip in this iPad, um, this DaVinci Resolve is just not going to be for me. So I feel like if you do have anything under an M1 iPad Pro or anything under that M1, I just personally say just stay away from DaVinci Resolve. Stick with LumaFusion because that's that's going to give you your, your best chance on editing. It's going to let everything be in 4K um, and you, you'll be able to take advantage of LumaFusion in its entirety uh, vice running DaVinci Resolve on something below an M1 iPad. All right. So um, I just wanted to give that quick PSA 
was, I was using this app for about two quick hours, uh, just editing old clips and stuff like that, just trying to mess around with it. Um, and everything was working fine. Um, I was able to use my external hard drive with it, uh, importing media from my photos, well, from the photos library, from the actual hard drive. Everything was fine. Scrubbing, everything was great. And I don't have uh, SSDs either. I have just the standard hard drives, you know what I mean? So everything was running real smooth, man. Transitions, everything was great. Uh, but when I went to export, just like it said at the beginning, uh, as soon as you log in right here, I'll show you. As soon as you turn it on, this is that little message you're going to get. If you don't have an M1 iPad, this is that little message you're going to get right there. Um, and like I said, once I went to export it, I couldn't do anything above 1080. So that just kind of you know threw me off right there. But um, I'm not in the process of trying to get a new iPad just to run DaVinci Resolve uh, because I do have an M1 Mac Mini uh, and I still enjoy LumaFusion even on the Mac Mini and on my iPad. So I'm, I'm good there. But... I just want to make this quick PSA. If you're running anything under an M1, I say stick with LumaFusion and you'll be good to go. DaVinci Resolve is for M1s and up, and that's just the way it is. All right. Now, if you found this video to be helpful in some way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I drop any videos on this channel. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.